What is up, you girl? Is back with another podcast, another message where the Holy Spirit is on. Second Chronicles, Manasseh, King of Judah, where he says, "Bring me, mention me, Ruach Akadash, in the mighty name of Jesus." I hear him saying, "You're slaying." He's slaying every demon. Hear me now. Manasseh was twelve years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem fifty-five years. He did evil in the eyes of the Lord, following the detestable practices of the nations. The Lord had driven out before the Israelites. He rebuilt the high places his father Hezekiah and De- had demolished. He also erected altars to the bowels and made a Sharia pose. He bowed down to all the starry host and worshiped them. He built altars in the temple of the Lord of which the Lord has said, my name will remain in Jerusalem forever. In both courts of the temple of the Lord, he rebuilt altars to the starry host. He sacrificed his children and the fire in the valley of Ben-Hinnon, practiced divination and witchcraft, sought omens and consulted mediums and spiritists. He did much evil in the eyes of the Lord, arousing his anger. He took the image he had made and put it in God's temple, of which God had said to David and to his son Solomon in this temple and in Jerusalem which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel I will put my name forever I will not again make the feet of the Israelites leave the land I assign to your ancestors if only they will be careful to do everything I commanded them concerning all the laws, decrees, and regulations given through Moses. But Manasseh led Judah and the people of Jerusalem astray. So they did more evil than the nations the Lord had destroyed before the Israelites. I hear God saying those who teach of lesser things in the kingdom will be called lesser in the kingdom. Hear me now. It's basically saying and he also said those who do and teach kingdom hmm, will be called greater in the kingdom okay i'm gonna paraphrase that that's paraphrasing but i'm gonna give y'all the metaphorically speaking okay metaphorically speaking god is saying when you do as he told you to do hear me now and you teach as you told to do hear me now he's going to comfort hear me now protect hear me now every single detail hear me now attached through the obedience hear me now of what his command is written hear me now in the fulfillment hear me now of the law hear me now through jesus hear me now and so as you realize everything that's trying to follow up my god law based keep walking up to your door my god keep walking up trying to check you keep trying to see hear me now knocking to see if god is going to answer not going to see if you will look back not going to see hear me now if you want to see my god everything that's falling behind i hear lot's wife I hear me now i hear sodom and gomorrah i hear a city and a nation falling hear me now i hear plot twists hear me now even the greatest elites hear me now the chosen is being led out hear me now i hear god came back hear me now i hear god showed up hear me now i hear even though the enemy thought he had you hear me now the plot twist was god was with you hear me now and as god was with you hear me now your story was changing hear me now the trajectory of your story hear me now was risen hear me now as you're with the risen king hear me now all of those things hear me now it's bowing down hear me now before thee hear me now as you thought you needed to fear hear me now what was surrounding you hear me now you was only discerning hear me now the atmosphere hear me now you was picking up hear me now the direction hear me now
now where he was sending you. Hear me now. And so your thought fear was in the room. Hear me now. But it was guiding you. Hear me now. To the increase. Hear me now. Of a risen standpoint. Hear me now. And as it was risen. Hear me now. You reached your name. Hear me now. That is in heaven. Hear me now. And as you did so. Hear me now. The enemy became your footstool. As it is Jesus' footstool. As he waited by the king's risen standpoint. On the right hand. And to his enemy. Became his footstool. Hear me now. You're stepping fresh. Hear me now. You're brand new. Hear me now. As you move forward. Hear me now. Your birthright is restored. Hear me now. So those things that walk up between you. Hear me now. They're going to talk to your birthright. Hear me now. They're going to talk to the blood of Jesus. Hear me now. I hear God saying virtue is risen. I hear the Ruach HaKadosh. I hear the fresh mighty wind. I heard somebody been waiting to see him. <laughs> somebody been wondering why he's quiet. <laughs> He says, I've just been observing the room. Hear me now. I've been the atmosphere you've been discerning. Hear me now. As you discerning what's in the room, hear me now. Everyone shall fear him. Hear me now. So those things that's trembling around you, hear me now. They just running up and falling. Hear me now. I'm trying to tell you there's a fire. Hear me now. I see John went off into the wilderness. As he went off into the wilderness, they start to question who he seen out there. Hear me now. And he told them, ah, I seen a prophet. They asked him, did he see a prophet? I said, I seen more. He said, I seen even more. Hear me now. He said, they said, did you see a king? Hear me now. Huh. Did you see a king? Hear me now. And so, listen, they begin to question the clothes that he had on. Hear me now. And how kings, my God, wear clothings of uh, uh, the kings that's dressed up in the clothes. My God is in the palace of, of kings. But I want somebody to hear this in the back row. Did you know as you are a servant of Christ, there's a king hidden in the inside of you, hanging around the king's palace, no matter where you are. Baby, even if you, you, you feel as though you shouldn't be there. Hear me? now because the king that's on the inside of you is risen hear me now by air hear me now so the atmosphere might be very well by flesh hear me now but who's truly in the lead of that thing hear me now because within a king is another king hear me now we're talking about chambers hear me now we're talking about the one true living god hear me though we're talking about the one true living god. oh because something did it a vocal dimension hear me now destiny hear me now generational hear me now Creator, hear me now. Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end. Hear me now. Breathe lung. Hear me now. Breathe lung. Somebody's getting a new deliverance on their lungs. Somebody's getting paid restitution. Somebody about to breathe a new wind. Somebody about to breathe a new direction. Somebody about to take a new route, a new atmosphere. Hear me now. Somebody has just become elevated. As the direction, hear me now. And as you swifted higher, as you wanted that fresh wind, as you was looking towards God, God was already around you just silent. Hear me now. But see, he says his silence speaks volumes. And baby, you got caught up in the volumes of the silence. Hear me now. As the silence wasn't saying anything. Hear me now. The room began to speak. Hear me now. As the room began to speak. Hear me now. The residue. Hear me now. That was on you. Hear me now. Started to tread up underneath your feet. Hear me now. The serpents. My God. You were stepping on them. Hear me now. Trampled on them. Hear me now. They was crying out. Hear me now. And so as they weeping hear me now gnashing up teeth hear me now I hear hell trembling hear me now God said the gates of hell did not prevail and shall not prevail hear me now touch not my anointed do my prophet no harm the gates of hell did not prevail